Now, leaflets sent to every house in Bristol about the mayor referendum have been branded a shambles by the city's minister. Bristol City Council strongly denies claims its brochure is inaccurate and biased, but has admitted there have been problems delivering the leaflet to some parts of the city. Chris James reports. And this is the leaflet. 12 pages of information about the referendum for a mayor. 185,000 copies were printed and it cost around £21,000. But the government is now refusing to pay the bill because it believes these leaflets contain bias and inaccurate information. The leaflet that the City Council have put out uh, contains an inaccurate figure as to the cost of the mayoral election. Uh, and departs from balance when it talks about the, the cost of a mayor without making the case for the mayor saving money uh, through savings on the chief executive salary. But Bristol City Council claims all the information about the costs is accurate and has been double-checked. However, it does admit there were problems with the delivery. If you live in Bristol, you should have a leaflet. But we've heard people here in Clifton haven't had one. And it's the same story here in Redland. Some houses have missed out. Henley's residents should have had one too, but guess what? Some doormats here remain leaflet free. And here at Bedminster Down, some households eligible to vote haven't had one either. So why? Our officers gave the leaflets to Royal Mail with clear instructions in plenty of time. They seem to have failed to deliver in certain areas, which is very concerning. Deirdre Oten lives in Coombe Dingle. She is eligible to vote in the referendum, but didn't get a leaflet. I've heard about it on Radio Bristol when you did an open debate one afternoon, but that's all I've heard about. The council haven't given you any indication? No, nothing at all. But Les Hembra from Fayland did receive one, even though he doesn't live in Bristol. I'm not allowed to vote, so why have I received it? You shouldn't have had it in the first place. I don't think so, because I'm not a Bristolian. So who will pay for the leaflets? The government says it won't. Bristol City Council says it will fight that decision and wants an investigation. Chris James, BBC Points West, Bristol. Hmm.